Hello, my dear students. How are you today? My name is Gulmayram, and I'm your English teacher. Let's begin our lesson. Let's begin our lesson. Please watch the video and guess what today's topic is. Clocks, clocks for everyone, watches and clocks. Excuse me, how much is this clock? For you? I could do that clock for ten pound. Ten pounds? Yeah, that's right. Here you are. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Today we will talk about markets. So, at the market. Now we have to learn some new words which can be useful when we will be at the market. Stall. Stall. A large table or a small shop with an open front from which goods are sold in a public place. For example, the stall sells drinks and snacks. Butcher. Butcher. A person who sells meat in a shop or shop where butchers work. For example, our local butcher is closed. Fix. Fix. To make something whole or able to work properly again, to repair something. For example, he fixed the fence last weekend. Bargain. Bargain. Something on sale at a lower price than its true value. For example, this coat was half price, a real bargain. Buy, buy. To get something by paying money for it. For example, I need to buy some new shoes. Offer, offer. To ask someone if they would like to have something or if they would like you to do something. For example, my father offered to take us to the airport. Cheap, cheap. Costing little money or less than is usual or expected. Low price. For example, food is usually cheaper in the supermarkets. Antique, antique. Something very old or old fashioned or something made in an earlier period than it's collected. For example, my mother collects antiques. Visitor, visitor. Someone who visits a person or place, guest or tourist. For example, the city has a record number of visitors in, in 2015. Jewelry, jewelry. Decorative objects worn on your clothes or body that are usually made from metals such as gold and silver and stones. For example, she wears tons of jewelry. Souvenir, souvenir, something that is kept as a reminder of place you have visited and event you have been to. For example, he bought a model of red London bus as a souvenir. Now students, we have vocabulary quiz. There is a hint. Please read it carefully and find. Let's begin. My father collects old watches and pictures. Antique, jewelry, a bargain. Let's check. You're right. It's antique. 
My mother likes buying earrings, bracelets, watches and rings. Buy jewelry a souvenir. Let's check. Correct. It's jewelry. Asan works in a shop. He sells only meat. Cheap. Fix. A butcher. Let's check together. You're great. It's butcher. She works in a small shop with an open front. She sells only vegetables and fruits there. Stall, visitor, bargain. Let's check. You're right. It's a stall. There are many tourists and guests in Bishkek. Visitor, buy or fix. Let's check together. Correct, it's visitor. She sold a beautiful dress at the Osh Bazaar for only 200 songs. Buy cheap or bargain. Let's check together. It's cheap. My mother always makes sellers to lower the price of potatoes. Buy or cheap or bargain. Let's check. You're right. It's bargain. Alisa took an apple for 50 cents from the market. Visitor, buy or cheap. Let's check. It's buy. A waiter asked me if I would like a cup of tea. Offer, buy a souvenir. Let's check. Correct. It's an offer. My sister always buys and keeps some kind of toys which can be remind her England. Antique. Jewelry. Souvenir. Let's check. You're correct. It's souvenir. Now, students, we have one more task. Please match the pictures with the words. Let's check together. First, it's B, antique. Second, it's C. Third, it's J, stall. Number four, it's a butcher. It's H. Number five, a visitor. It's F. Number six, offer. It's K. Number seven. Bargain. It's D. Number eight. Buy. It's M. Number nine. Cheap. It's A. Number ten. It's fix. G. Eleven. Souvenir. E. Well done, guys. Now, students, we will pass to the grammar. I will explain you like and would like. Like, 
When you like something, it means you always like it. And we may use like with hobbies and things that we enjoy. The structure will be subject plus like plus noun. For example, I like apples, if there is a noun. What about verb? The structure is subject plus like plus verb and then plus ing. We have to add ing to the verb. For example, I like swimming. What about question form? We have to add just do before the subject. For example, do you like apples? And what about with verb? It's almost the same. We have to put the do before the subject. The structure will be do plus subject plus like plus verb and then ing. For example, do you like swimming? And would like. When you would like something, it means you want it. So the would like is a polite way of saying want. The structure will be subject plus would like and then plus noun, if there is a noun. And with a verb, it's almost the same. Subject plus would like, we have to add here infinitive, to, and then verb. For example, I would like apples, please. It means I want some apples. Or I would like to swim now. You want to swim now. What about question form? The structure will be would plus subject plus like and then noun. And with a verb would plus subject plus like and to and then verb. We have to add infinitive to before the verb. For example, would you like a glass of milk? Would you like to dance? Now let's practice. Your task is to choose the correct option, would like or like. Let's check. So A will be would like. B, do you? Do you like football? And C, would like. Aizada can't cook. She would like to learn to cook. D, would you like? Would you like to see the film? Next. Altenbeck likes playing chess. And next, would like. Would you like banana? And next, do you like? Do you like bananas? Yes, I do. The last one, would you like? Would you like to do now? Well done, students. We will pass to the next task. We have one more exercise. Uh, we have to read the dialogue and complete with like, would like, to or do.
Let's check together. So I'm going to the market. Would you like to go with me? Yeah, sure. What would you like to buy? Souvenir for dad and jewelry for mom. For New Year. What jewelries does she like? Yes, I don't know, but I have little money. Don't worry, we will bargain. Or we can find a little bit cheaper ones. And do you like antique things? For example, old pictures, watches. We may buy antique things, not souvenir for your dad. Good idea, we will see. Now, students, let's read the text and match with the pictures. You have 40 seconds to read the text. Here we have pictures of these markets. Let's match. Let's check together. Number one, it's Grand Bazaar. Number two, it's Osh Bazaar. Number three, Chichikastenango Bazaar. So well done. Please, students, read the text one more time and complete the sentence. You have 40 seconds to read. Here we have some sentence from the text. We have to use the Grand Bazaar, the Osh Bazaar and the Chichikastenango market. Let's check the answers. Number one, it's Grand Bazaar. Number two, Chichikastenango. Number three, it's Osh Bazaar. Number four, Grand Bazaar. Number five, it's Chichikastenango. Number six, it's again Osh Bazaar. Well done, students. Let's do one more exercise. Please watch the video and answer the questions. You can buy lots of things there. There's a butcher's stall, a fishmonger's stall, lots of clothes stalls, a DVD stall and a magazine stall. There's a man who sells mobile phone accessories and one who fixes watches and cuts keys. I especially like to buy my fruit and vegetables from the market. All the food is fresh. There are lots of fruit and vegetable stores 
but I like Jason's the best. I go to his store every Saturday. I tell him what I want and he puts it all into brown paper bags. He always has a special offer on. I try to go at the end of the day when things are cheaper. I love to get a bargain. We have true false exercise from the video. Let's do it. Let's check together. Number one, it's false. Number two, it's true. Number three, it's true. Number four, it's false. Number five, it's false. Number six, it's again false. Our lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next class.